winds fanned the flames of the warriors' fighting spirits. I will never lose! You're gonna pay now! Welcome. No this now. is Top Tier Tips. Your Greetings everyone, I'm Force Nature and I welcome you to another Soul Calibur 6 guide. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at Sung Mina. <laughs> Sung Mina is a great beginner friendly character for people that are in the process of learning Soul Calibur 6. I would like a character that allows them to apply a bit more of a ranged playstyle. So basically, if you're interested in playing with Sung Mina, don't fight in close range. Don't mix it up in close. Like for instance, her AA is 16 frames and that's terrible. If you're interested in playing Sung Mina, I want you to be fighting around like around mid range. Like for for let me for instance, let me show you Sung Mina's um, three moves of doom for control and space. Move number one, 6A. This move is a really good, I mean, it's an utterly fantastic high tracking move or high horizontal move. See, this move has like really good range. So even at like the start of the round of most stages, you can end up just smacking the opponent. So anytime you think the opponent's gonna sidestep, smack them with 6A. All right, what's one way that you can get the opponent to sidestep? Well, let me show you move number two. 1B, you see this move right here is basically one of the best and Basically, one of the most annoying lows in Soul Calibur 6. I mean, definitely one of... I'd say it's easily one of the most annoying ones. See this move right here? It can easily hit you at the start of a round. You could take one back step from round one fight. It still reaches. You could take two back steps. It still reaches. Alright, so if I get around maybe three back steps and it might cause a whip. But you get the point. This move goes really damn far. And the opponent does not want to keep getting annoyed by this move. So what the opponent's going to do is either like, crouch block or try and like sidestep and then you start smacking them with 6A. But mainly the point of 1B is to remind the opponent that they are always open. So yeah, you can end up dealing with both 6A and 1B by crouch blocking. So how do you stop the opponent from end up... Or what do you do if you think the opponent's crouching too much? You hit him with the mid. So something like 6B right here. But move of doom number 3 is 2-2B. Also input as 88B or 88B. This is a really good launcher. I mean, like, wow, this is like easily one of the Sungmina's best launchers. Like, it, this move can be used around the same range as like uh, around uh, 6A range right here, mid range, which is the optimal range that you should be playing with Sungmina at. So, anytime you think the opponents could do like a linear move of some sort, like a B or any sort of like vertical attack, sidestep, smack in this move. You do like a small juggle afterwards, so yeah, this move is this. So basically, right here, Sungmina's three moves of doom. So these right here are just like three really abusable moves with Sungmina. 6A, 1B, 2-2B. So yeah, I mean, obviously, like, Sungmina has like a bunch of like other moves, which I'll be getting to in a bit. But uh, before I go on, I do want to say that this video is endorsed by Smart Esports and Trollcoin. And remember, if you like this video, go smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, just leave a like anyway. And don't forget to also subscribe for more juicy fighting game content. Alright, I mentioned earlier that with Sung Mina, generally what you want to be doing is fighting around mid to long range. So, I'm essentially just going to be going over again uh, Sung Mina's three moves of Doom just to elaborate on them just slightly more. For instance, with 6A, with this move here... I'll, I'll just let you say right now that if you hit this move in close range or in a closer range, it's still a tracking move, but you don't get as good of a hit effect. Like, you just get, let's see, 20 damage when you hit the opponent. If you hit the opponent a bit further out from the tip, you get more damage. Right there, you get 32 damage, and it um, blasts the opponent away. And another thing that's also good about this, to let you know, so generally this move is not meant to really be a close range move. If, if the opponent ends up blocking this move in close range, you'll leave yourself at a punishable negative. So if you hit this move around the tip range, where you see the increased damage, you actually will be safe on block if you get blocked. So if a, if a move like this connects a tip range, the same applies for like the, the same applies for other moves. For instance, like like some minus three A. Like right here, this is a solid or well, sorry, well a reasonably solid mid, uh, horizontal mid or tracking tracking mid here. Three A. It has a fall up in three A A, which is a low. 
it's a little delayable, but um, the main idea with this is that if you use this move in close, um, you'll be, well, you'll be unsafe if it gets blocked, even though this one does have a fall up, it's also unsafe. But again, if you do, if you can get it around the, if you can get it a bit more around like the, the tip range or so, then you'll leave yourself safe. So not only are moves like this would be, not only would they be hard to punish in general just because of how far they are, and like 6A for instance even takes a little like step back, so this move is generally as hard to punish in general. You, with Sung Mina, you get rewarded for hitting your moves around tip. So basically, with Sung Mina, tip range is basically the... For essentially when you're training Sung Mina, tip range is the range that you're essentially aiming for. So with Sung Mina, you actually get a difference whether you're hitting close or around tip range. Another benefit of 6A is that if you were to hit this on an opponent, if you were to hit this move on an opponent that is doing an 8-way run or a sidestepping or, or sidewalking, then... You will get a lethal hit, and then you can easily fall with 1B. If you're feeling a bit ambitious... You could try and do dash in um, 8B... Um, dash in 6 6 B plus K, but you see the 8B plus K BB whiffs pretty easily. And the range needs to be like pretty specific for it to hit, but it kind of like gives you... Ah, it kind of like gives you the idea of stuff that you could try and do after a 6A um, lethal hit. 6B and 1B will be your go-to linear moves for catching opponents that are backstepping. Like, these moves both reach very far. They look kind of similar, but the uh, interesting thing is 6B does not have the tip range mechanic. You get the same damage regardless, whereas 1B does. You do it in close, 22. You do it from tip range, you get 36 or, f or further out. So, basically, for 1B, just like most of Samina's moves, is more dangerous the further out it is, but... 6B is still a pretty good move. It's it's a little on the slow side, but it's just, it's range is good. It's great for knocking opponents away. And with something that does, that's what you want to be doing is knocking the opponents away. So both these moves are good, along with of course the awesomeness that is um 2-2B. I don't even really have to go over just how incredible this move is and, and how abusable this move could be if you can get it also around like tip range. I mean, I'll just let you know these moves are not intended to be used in close, so I mean you 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 will you will basically leave yourself in some of the bad spot if you use it, these moves in close. So again, around that uh, mid-range is where you want to be using these moves. And also, another thing about 1D. If you're Sung Mina's opponent and you have your back to the ring edge, remember that you're always open. If for some reason you'd like to get in on your opponent, then a couple moves you could use is stuff like 6-6-A. Right here, it's a safe get-in move. It's a good... Um, well, it's a good horizontal mid, so 6-6-A is a good move. Another move you can use is 6-6-K-K. Like, this move is also really good. S same with, like, like 3-K-K is also pretty good. It's, like, a similar move. But for getting in, 6-6-A, 6-6-K-K, which also has technically three hits, are both good moves to get in. And if, if you do sidestep something, then you can use... Uh, well, 2288K, um, or I'll just call it 22K. This move is, uh, well, neutral on block, so is. If you sidestep something, and this is a good move for kind of getting in on your opponent, so there's like a few options you can work with. If you do it, end up in close range against your opponent, your objective here is basically to try and create space. All right, your go to move for trying to create space is 4B right here. See, it leads into Sangmina's new leap back stance. Does it automatically? There are there's a few options you can do out of there. You have a, a good K option. That's a guard break right there. That can leave you at um, plus frames. You have the six A uh, violence, violent squall move. And if you press the B option, then you get your new favorite move, one B. So, so this new jump back stance is really good for. Really good for creating some space for you. You can also access it off of um, 2BB. Same thing. You get the same options out of it. So it is really good. And, and I actually do like the options out of those stances. Because like I said, those are just some like really good moves with Sungmina. And also another move you can also use for creating space is 4A. It's right here. Come on, say it. Nope. Alright. It's supposed to say get lost, but mainly right here what you do is you do like a little cheeky hit to the ankle. You create a little space. So, yeah. So there's some... There you go. She just said it. So, 
right here's a few moves that you can end up using to create space with Sugmina because generally speaking yes I want you to minimize the amount of combat in the opponent's face. If you do find yourself mixing it up in close range and let's face it it's gonna happen then here's a few tools that you can use to kind of um help yourself out and navigate the situation. All right right here this is 2A. This move is really good. I mean Having a 12 frame low on what is essentially a ranged character is really helpful. I will give you a warning though that its range is pretty, it's pretty puny. So like, this move is basically for when you're in close range. So essentially, when you're in close range, you're obviously going to be probably blocking more often than your opponent, especially if your opponent is a character like 2B that has like a 12 frame AA and stuff like that. But so, but to, so this move here is really good. A couple other moves that you can use to kind of help yourself out are a couple. Um, auto GI moves you have right here this is 6k where Sungmina aptly says go away so you can use this move to the GI some of the opponent's stand moves and you end up blasting them away and like I'm gonna reiterate throughout this guide knocking the opponent away is good for Sungmina another one you can use now is 4k right here it has a fall up in 4kb See, this one on hit ends up pushing the opponent away. So it's this move. So both these moves are pretty good just for knocking the opponent back like that. So generally, and another thing also I'm going to tell you another thing with regards to 2A. Because this move leaves you in crouch, you get a little bit of a mix-up kind of opportunity. Especially if, well, especially if this move hits. Because if you if it's blocked and you're negative. But if, you, if it hits, then you do get some um, advantage frames. So... After this, you're in crouch. You can either do stuff like you could do like uh, while rising AA, while rising K, possibly even like while rising B and like while rising B plus K. Even though like the two launchers are mainly to be used as like high crushes, even though I know majority of the while rising moves are high crushes. But the thing is that with all those mids there, uh, Sungmin also happens to have a very good low attack. This is a full crouch, full crouch 1kk. Like, this is a really good low, I mean. Essentially when you are in close range with Sungmina, annoy the opponent with that move. And you see 2a completely complements it. So, so yeah, so when you're in close range, you're going to be probably trying to set up that move while also keeping the opponent in check with their mids also. Actually, there is a beneficial time to be in close range with Sungmina, and that is after a knockdown. Do you want to know why? Because Sungmina has a couple pretty abusable break attacks also, or I just call them guard break attacks. For instance, this is 2A plus B. This is a really good break attack. Let's see, it's it's good range, it's uh, low, it's tracking. I mean, hell, just being a low guard break is good, but it's low, you can't sidestep it. It goes really far. So this is just a really good abusable guard break. Another thing also is that with a common trend with Sugmina, this move does less damage if you do it in close, you don't get the knockdown, you do it at range, you get the knockdown, a bit more damage. So, so the main thing about this move is that you don't care whether it hits or whether it gets blocked. So basically, the only way how you're avoiding 2A plus B is essentially by jumping. Like so. So yeah, and Sugmina does have some good jumping attacks, for instance, like um, 9A is a good um, jumping, sweeping low, and B plus... B plus K is like okay, but yeah, I mean, you can't sidestep 2A plus B. If you crouch block it, well, it doesn't really care because I, I'm at frame advantage and I end up damaging your guard stamina. If you're stand, then obviously you get, you get hit. And of course, in any way, if you are looking out for 2A plus B, then I have another awesome break attack in A plus B. Yes, Sungina has a mix up with her break attacks. So, where 2A plus B is a low, horizon is a low horizontal on break attack. A plus B is a vertical, well, is a mid mid hidden vertical break attack. So, yeah, you you, you basically have a mix up there. If A plus B does connect, even on normal hit, you could just do the six six B hold one B combo, the same one as like off of um like two two B this same combo. So yeah, and uh, A plus B also has a tip range of mechanic. If you do it in close range, you deal less damage than if you can hit it from 
tip range, the co your combo can connect either way, even though it's a little easier if you can do it around the kind of like middle-ish range. But yeah, both A plus B, 2 A plus B, really awesome break attacks with Sunmina. Continuing on with close range combat, other moves that you can use with Sunmina is her... Just simply just doing her K is fine. It's a pretty... Um, it's a pretty generic fast K, so that's also good. It complements your, your 2A if you want like a fast high. 3-3... Three, three, uh, 3K three K is also really good. Although if you want a nice go too high along with the K, you can also do just simply... Well, it's called B6 or B hold. That move right there. It's kind of weird because you have to get the B slide like pretty pretty quickly. And right there, and you end up like smacking the opponent down. So, I mean, if you want something like a bit more meteor than just simply doing K, then you can use B6. But yeah, other than stuff like that, in close range, what you're going to be trying to do essentially is trying to, well, high crush the opponent or, of course, like sidestep them to get, so they can get hit by. I mean, you could, or sidestep them to get hit by that. But, um, generally you do want to be trying to do, like, high crushes. Like, a couple, well, I showed you a bunch of the kind of, like, wall rising moves, but the main ones to keep in mind is, is this one is wall rising V. So right there, you can end up connecting, um, just 8 A plus B after that for, for, like, a pretty small 2 it combo. Or you can also do, you can also do, um, B plus K. Like, this is a pretty beefy launcher, and I just showed you a little... I also showed you a little earlier that if, if it gets blocked, it pushes you back fa fairly far, making it sometimes a little awkward for the opponent to punish. But yeah, if this move does hit, it does use the K option, then 1B, and right there you get a juicy 82 damage. So um, yeah, the opponent does not want to get hit by that move. Full crouch... Or, full crouch. I mean, while Ryzen B is the same as Sun Minus 3B, this move also has the same... Uh, tip range mechanics, so you see it launches lower if you do it in close, and if you can get it around tip range, if I can just get it now, you see it launches like super high. All right, the combo I just showed you just simply just doing A plus B. Right, it's an easy go-to. You get 45 damage. It's um, like it's, it's it's pretty it's pretty respectable, but um, to be able to be able to set up potentially more damage, you have to use a pretty tricky just frame move, which is that move right there. It's it's 3BK, but what you do is you have to slide the... You have to... You do 3B, and then you slide... You go from B to K, you need to do it right away. And if you get that flash, then you did it correctly, but... um, If you don't get the timing, then you'll just get that instead. So it, th it does take a bit of practice to do it. So it's just... it's a, The just frames like that are, is just simply also known as a fastest input. So if you can get it down... Then you can end up getting a splat like that after, and you can set up um, potentially more dangerous combo. Alright, I'm just gonna go over some additional kind of like range tools and moves with Sungmina right now. Alright, a good move for kind of just simply knocking the opponent back from like well, around mid-range is her 4-4 B plus K. See right there when it hits, it's a good track in... It's a good track in mid-move here and here. Uh, if it ends up... If you end up holding it down, so 4-4 B plus K hold, you can get a guard break. So yeah, that's a pretty good move. Alright, other moves that you can use with Sungmina is her... Is her 1A right here, so... If you get it from the right range or whatever, then you end up hitting the opponent in their crotch. So yeah, that's pretty good. And if you end up doing um a hold, so 1A hold. And ends up dumping the opponent on the other side and you get a little extra damage. And yes, 1A hold can ring out. Another good move with Sugmina is her 4-4-A. You see, if it connects in close range on normal hit, it's nothing really special. But if you can get it from around, like, tip range... Then you can get in a free 3B combo. Be careful though that sometimes the 3B will hit, will connect on. It will connect on tip range, and other times it will just be the close range one. So yeah, you'll have to uh, adapt your combos based on that, and it actually can be pretty annoying. So I mean, as A strings are also um, pretty good from around mid range. Like there are two, three hit strings such as A A A, so high high low, or. A, A, 
B, so you get a little bit of a mix-up there. You can just simply do AA. Or all three hits of either of the strings. Another alternative side set move that you can use apart from like 2-2-B or 2-2-K is 2-2-A. Alright, the thing about this move is in itself it's not really anything special. The good thing about it is that it does it does end up having a fall up in 2-2-A that can kind of throw the opponent off and kind of knock him up and um, knock him around, but the main thing is that this is a move that you mainly use, of course, like like how you use 2-2-B or to an extent 2-2-K where if the opponent does, does a linear move then yeah, you use this. But I will show you another thing about this move. 2-2-A is very dangerous if there's a ring out potential to the side. Let's take a look at Sung Nina's high and low crush moves. All right, majority of the go-to high crush moves are generally going to be, well of course from crouch like while rising moves. Like, like 1-K-K is really good, but for your, your go-to high crushes, apart, I mean, well, apart from like a 2K, 2A, we have Wild Wire is in K, Wild Wire is in AA, alright, Wild Wire is in B, and, and Wild Wire is in B plus K will be your go-to, your go-to um, high crush, of course, like I said earlier, the opponent really does not want to get hit by that, so if you hit the opponent with that a few times, we'll make him think twice about just chucking out like highs against you, but now, with regards to low crushes, alright, so you have... 9A, a really good sneaky jump in low. A B, B plus K ends up causing a stun. And you have it now, and you have now... There's, let's see, there's Wall Rising B, there's 3B, and now 9B. So now you have three different kinds of 3B like launchers. And, but now I'm, I'm just going to show you pretty much Sung Mina's go-to, her best low crush move is 8A a plus B. This move is honestly just kind of crazy. See, this move beats out lows really well. It's a mid, so it will and hit hit people or crouch in. It's reasonably fast, so th like, basically this is essentially like Sung Mina's DP move. It's just simply 8, A plus B. So if you don't really unsure what to do, then just simply 8, A plus B. Also, another move to complement Sung Mina's 1K in close range is... Is her full crouch... Full, full crouch 3A K. This move is actually pretty handy that it's like I think like plus two on hit and it's safe on block. It's a mid it's a fast mid high. But the thing is that the K the AK ends up jailing. Well, it can jail on block, so you don't have to worry about the opponent ducking the high so. So this could be a nice alternative to just going for well, 1k all the time. Alright, we're gonna be looking at the moves that you're gonna be using to to wear down the opponent's guard stamina, so in general, the moves you're going to be using to, to to harass the opponent's guard gauge with are either going to be like kind of like slow or ranged. With the exception of something like B6 right here. This right here is a fast, safe, high option. This is pretty much the only one you're going to use to run up the guard gauge in like, in like close range. And it's just simply a good move in general. Other moves that you can use is, well, your break attack. So like A plus B is good. 2A plus B is good. Uh, the stance K is also good, but of course break attacks are slow and the big lightning flash makes them a bit telegraphed. So, but um, on the bright side, all these moves are either safe or advantage. Other stuff such as 4-4, four, four, B plus K, like this move is safe. And of course, if you, if you charge it, you get a pretty hefty break attack afterwards and it runs up the gauge pretty well. But of course it's, well, of course it's kind of slow. But this move in general is also like pretty good. Other moves that you can use to run up the guard gauge is stuff like right here is 4-4-B. 6-B is okay too but is kind of like linear. I mean unfortunately um, 6-A doesn't build up the gauge as well but um, 9-B is okay if you basically know the opponent's not going to sidestep even though this move's mainly for beating out opponents that will try and backstep. 6-6-A plus B is generally used as a midi move, but it also does run up the guard gauge pretty well, and you're, you're safe if the move is blocked. This move is generally used, for instance, let's say on the opponent's wake up after you, you knock them down, and you can use this move. Be careful that it is essentially a slow linear move, so they can either sidestep it or side roll or whatever, but anytime that you think that the opponent's not going to sidestep, then you can... I mean, this move is good whether it hits, and you're perfectly fine whether it's blocked. Another move that's also pretty good for running up the gauge that also doesn't really leave you in a bad position if it gets blocked is 
is 2-2-K or 8-8-K. So right here, it runs up the guard gauge pretty well and leaves you at neutral. It also forces crouch on the opponent. So, I mean, this move in general is just... This move in general is just a pretty good move. As for breaking the opponent's gauge, there's numerous things you can use. Like, B6 is good. Uh, 3B, uh, K, whether it's the just frame version or, or not, will end up breaking the gauge. This move is normally unsafe on block, but it's okay for breaking the gauge. With Like, both of these moves are pretty fast, like around like 14-ish frames or so. So those moves are pretty pretty good for breaking the gauge in close. Like You can also even use like 3B. And around range, you can use 4-4-B, uh, 4, 4, 6 6 a, a plus B. If you're breaking the opponent's gauge, and you generally probably want to be like around like 3B range, because after you do break the opponent, after you do break the opponent's gauge, then launch him with 3B. 4-4 B plus K is also pretty good too for breaking the opponent's gauge. So I mean this throw game is pretty decent for a character that is this well basically a non-grappler and is well a ranged character. Alright, her standard A plus G throw, neutral throw does 50 damage, her 4 A plus G throw, so her back throw does 55 damage, her left side throw. Switches sides does 64 damage, so that's um pretty solid damage, and her right side throw does 60 damage and is um does a little flippy thing. The Hurricane Rana as it's called, or Frankensteiner. And the back throw right there does really good damage at 72 and switches sides. Along with those throws, Sungmina also has a command throw in the form of 4-6-A plus G. You see right there, it's basically a well a frame advantage throw and it it doesn't do any damage, but mainly what you're supposed to do with this throw is do the 4, 6, A plus G. Then you can press B. Right there, it knocks the opponent away and does 30 damage, so that's not really that good. But if you were to hold down B, then you get a small combo opportunity and right there you can get and set yourself up at like over 60 damage. So, so basically, every time you do this throw, go for the hold B option. At the wall with some Mina. Wall slam the opponent with moves such as 4-4-B uh, four, four, plus K, 3-B, or 3-B-K. It's time for Super Saiyan Sung Mina. Alright, so under Soul Charge, two of Sung Mina's three moves of Doom become even more obnoxious. For instance, 6A becomes a gigantic break attack. 1B, look how much damage this is. Like the tip range mechanic doesn't even like matter here. I mean, this just does a tremendous amount of damage. This is really fast. And of course, it's also a break attack. So 1B just pretty much becomes... This keeps his title as one of the most annoying lows. Let's see. 6 uh, A plus B is also a break attack. BBB is a break attack. Alright, you do gain a good move out of um, Soul Charges. Now 6-6-A becomes 6-6-A-A. So it's normally one hit, but then it becomes a three-hit string. So it becomes a... Um, it becomes a mid-high-high string. So be careful of opponents that duck under the high. Although it is pretty fast, and it also has the ability to wall slam. So it is, it is a good move. And also, let's see, other moves... See right here, this move is normally two hits, but under Soul Charge, you get a monstrous four hits out of 2-2-A. So it's 2 2 a a a a a So it's... So yeah, so I mean, it's a, another like crazy move out of here. 4-4-B four, four, plus K gets an upgrade. Uncharged, it, it's a break attack, but fully charged. Becomes an unblockable attack, and that does a lot of damage. And one last thing. You're... 1k gets a bit of a buff. It now ends up becoming 1... Uh, it now ends up becoming 1kkb. 
And look how much damage you get just for hitting 1k even on normal hit. 60 solid damage. Alright guys, that's it for now. Alright, just a couple more things. Sungmina does have a highly telegraph unblockable 9A plus B. If you manage to smack this move on an opponent, you get a monstrous 100 damage, so almost half of their life. But yeah, it, Sungmina literally says dodge this, so as the opponent knows, just sidestep it. You can have it come out faster if you do 9A plus BB. Did you get a break attack and you only, you only deal 60 damage? I know, only 60, but... It comes out a bit faster. If you are going to use this, you're going to be using the break attack obviously more often. Or you have the ability, of course, like most unblockables, to cancel it. So 9A plus B. And guard. Alright, another move is... You, if you want an alternative to like 1B at, at range, you can use like 4 4 one, one, seven, seven, eight. Then right here you get a sweeping low, a lot like um, like 9A for instance. Although under most circumstances, 1B comes out faster and is more annoying. But if you really want to stop step, then you can use this. It also is affected with the with the tip range mechanic. See, it causes a knockdown at tip range. If you're doing close and it just trips the opponent a little bit and just does a little damage. So that is a little al alternative to 1B if you really want to stop step. Alright guys, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me on this delightful Sungmina journey. I do want to thank Smart Esports and Trollcoin for endorsing this video, but I have a question for you guys. Who's ready for Season 2? See, Sungmina's ready. Who's ready for Hilda, who was recently revealed and looks awesome? Also, who's ready for Halmaru, who has not yet been revealed, but we know is coming? And who would like Sungmina's fellow Koreans, not gonna name names, long noon soon, to join the Soul Calibur 6 cast. If you'd want them, give me a hell yeah in the comments. But anyways, as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, just hit the like button anyway. And also be sure to check out my other Soul Calibur 6 guides or my fighting, well, my 3D fighter guides in general. And if you'd like to support this channel, feel free to join top tier fighters. The support does help and I do appreciate it. Anyways, this is Force Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time on Top Tier Tips.